In this video, we show you how to get into and enter your BIOS in Windows 11 and previous versions as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And let's get right into this guide. So here we are on my computer and now let's go and get to the BIOS and motherboard settings. So all you need to do is go and click on the start button in the bottom left of your computer, just like so on the taskbar. And then what you need to do is come to the power button and what you need to do is just go and tap on it and do not click anything. Now what you need to do is go onto your keyboard and how it's gonna work is we're gonna go and hold shift while pressing restart and this is gonna go and activate a setting called safe mode and from safe mode we can go and access our motherboard settings and BIOS and I'll show you exactly how. So I'm now holding shift, I'm gonna go and tap on restart and as you can see it now says please wait and I'm gonna go and cut um, to when something changes basically. So my computer is now restarting and it just had my sort of my manufacturer's logo with the logo saying please wait and the safe mode is going to go and launch and here we are as you can see it says choose an option. So now all you want to do is go and tap on troubleshoot in the bottom left just like so and then from troubleshoot you need to go and tap on advanced options and this is going to go and give us a few options but what you want to do is go and locate the UEFI firmware settings as you can see it says change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware which is basically our BIOS and motherboard. So go and tap on that option there and as you can see we need to go and restart to go and change these firmware settings. So go and tap on restart and as you can see the computer is now restarting once again. And now here we are in my BIOS and motherboard settings. As you can see I've got an MSI motherboard and it says click BIOS 5 and we've got all these different options. So at the top we've got a few statistics and then we've got our settings, our overclock settings, our mflash and some other bits on the right hand side as well. Then what you want to do is go and make any changes you'd like and then once you finish in your BIOS you can go and get out of it by pressing on the cross in the top right but every BIOS may be slightly different and every motherboard may be slightly different. So go and tap on it. I've not made any changes so I'm going to go and press yes and then your PC will restart once again and you can go and use it as normal. Please leave a like if you found this useful. Peace.